Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is chapter 82 of Takedown, and this one is titled Not Nice Surprise. Today was the day. There hadn't really been much thought put into the mission aside from defeating the spider and hoping that that would let the trapped players escape. When the other players had been trapped in the pterodactyl's nest, the force field dome that had kept them inside had disappeared the minute the giant pterosaur had been taken care of. Team ready? Megata asked brightly as you all woke pretty much the same time in game. Both Butterfly and On nodded their heads and you looked at him before slowly nodding yours. We'll be fine because we have a newly found fighter in our team, he added with a grin at you. You covered your mouth, smiling into the palm of your hand. I'm kind of keen to be able to add in my own attacks, he said happily, finally removing your hand. I don't feel as useless this time around, and I haven't even done anything yet. Haven't done anything yet? On repeated with a snort. You took on one of the tormentors and kicked his ass. Oh, well, I don't know about kicking his ass. Ah, I won't let you say any more. You've come a long way and you're a sought after badass. So don't talk bad about yourself, she said with a grin. You resigned and just gave her a thankful smile in return. Okay, now we really need to move, Megata stood up, slapping one knee as he did so. Autobots, roll out, On added enthusiastically. Who? Butterfly asked as you all headed for the door, while On had to explain what a transformer was to him. Once out of town, you called forth Agir again, and started doing the ferrying trips like you had done the other day, taking Megata on ahead first before coming back to pick up Butterfly and On. It was on one of those trips that you were floating beside Agir's head, chatting idly with On, who was sitting in front of Butterfly, that you felt like someone was close and you looked up ahead to where a large rock was sitting just off the path. Whoa, Agir, you whispered to him, making him slow to a stop. You looked back to Butterfly, who nodded at you, acknowledging that he too sensed someone was there. Come out, you called ahead, one hand gripped into Agir's flowing mane. Nothing happened for a second, and you called for your fans to appear, tucking both into one hand. Butterfly also called for his chain whip sword and pulled it from its sheath, sliding off a gear's back to get ready should a fight occur. I said, come out, you called again, deactivating your floating so that you could dance and move on the ground. On stayed aboard a gear and waited to see what would happen. Suddenly, two men stepped out with cameras and recording gear, and it threw you for a second. Who are you? You called to them as they stopped on the path and just remained silent. They're with me, a sudden bright voice announced as Free came tumbling out from behind the rock. Your heart sank and then started to beat wildly. How, how did you find us? You asked as she skipped up to you. You're so mean, Aunt. You told me you would let me know when you were leaving, but you didn't even send me a message. I heard chatter about the dream team embarking to the spider's cave, and so I grabbed my two best cameramen and raced up here as quickly as I could. The whole time that she was explaining how she had known about you on the level, she was dancing and skipping about and making wild hand gestures to illustrate her point. And so I found you, she added on the end, pouting with one finger pointed directly into your face. You were still a little shocked, to be honest, and didn't know what to say in reply at first, but then tried to come up with a diplomatic answer. Free. We told you this would be a dangerous mission. We don't want you getting hurt. Nonsense! I'm with the Dream Team. Nothing can hurt me. I'm untouchable. No, we think that it would be best for you to stay away. Once we've finished the mission, we'll come for an interview. Then you can ask questions then. No! I want to have live footage to show the fans. They'll love it. You are being rather selfish, aunt. I thought we could be friends. But if you're going to act like this and be this mean, then you're not my friend anymore. Free stated, pulling another pouty, hurt face. This isn't being about being selfish or anything. You're being very pushy and I'm telling you no, he replied strictly, treating Free like the child that she was behaving like. Well, you can't stop me, she said, poking her tongue out. I already know where the spider's cave is located, so you can't stop me from going with you. You looked back at Butterfly for help, but he didn't offer any suggestions, so you looked at On, who awkwardly avoided eye contact. I'm not going to say any more. Free stated, turning on her heels and marching back to her two cameramen. Come on boys, let's go. You wanted to yell something out to her, but you knew it was pointless, so closed your mouth again and sighed. <sighs> I'll talk to Megara when we catch up to him. He might know what to do. Following a distance behind Free and her companions, you all walked the same track until Free approached Megara and greeted him vivaciously, throwing herself onto him. 
As you can imagine, he was most surprised to see her, not in a good way, and gave you a puzzled look as you approached. She just popped up out of literally nowhere, you said to him as she bounced over to talk to On and Butterfly. I don't know how to get rid of her. Magada rubbed his chin thoughtfully and looked at her, then back to you. I'm just thinking that maybe it might be a good idea to bring her along so we can keep an eye on her. I don't trust her, but like the saying goes, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You sighed and then nodded. Okay, I'll stick close to you too then so that you can keep an eye on her, but also not be far from me. Yes, please do that, he replied, looking to free again. We'll get this mission done, then be free of her. You looked at him. Did did you just make a pun? He grinned at you, then chuckled. Mm, I don't know about you guys, but i got a bit of a bad feeling about this. We'll just have to stay tuned for Chapter 83 tomorrow.